Listen, treat trading like a business. So a lot of people who just come into the game thinking they're better just scalp some money or thinking they're better just spawn some bread. You need to understand that trading is a very systematic process and trading is extremely extensive and you're playing against extremely high IQ individuals at all times. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to treat trading like a business and how you can stop just losing your money randomly and just being unprofitable. All right, number one, have a trading plan. So I show you guys in multiple videos and stuff like that um, how I like to play my setups and stuff like that. So my trading plan personally, I entails off of the higher time frame setups. So I like to go ahead and I like to find my uh, most recent daily range for like the last three months. And I like to go ahead and uh, farm my range based off of the um, highest volume low that I can find in the most recent all time highs. Then from there, I go ahead and I either draw Fibonacci or I eyeball levels myself. And then from there, it's extremely easy for me to um, identify key levels and then uh, go ahead and um, make profitable trades based off of that. So me personally, that is what I like to do as far as having my own personal trading plan. But you guys need to make sure that you have your own trading plan as well. Whether you're a scalper, a swing trader or whatever, you need to be understanding when you're getting in and when you're going to get out. A lot of people get into trading and they don't understand certain key parts of aspects of the game. A lot of people actually make a lot of money in trading, even unintentionally, um, especially like uh, crypto guys who pump meme coins and stuff like that. A lot of people don't know when to take profit because they don't know how to read the chart. Um, if you guys want some assistance with that, you can get with me for mentorship one on one as well. Um, but yeah, but a lot of people don't know how to read the chart and they don't know how to take profit. A lot of people just buy and they just see money going up and they think that the chart is going to continue to uh, go in a vertical way and they think they're going to continue to make money. Um, they don't know that price is going to eventually retrace on them as people are going to be taking profit who actually know what they're looking at. So you need to make sure you know what you're doing. You need to make sure that you know what you're looking at because without that, you're just trading like a game and that's not a business at all. And a business is very structured. There's certain things in place. Certain items have certain prices, and it's the same thing for your trades. You should have proper risk management in place, which we'll get to, and you should understand how much you're going to lose approximately per trade and pretty much about how much you think you're going to make as well. Um, sometimes you can't, depending on certain things like crypto or options, but you should have a good feel for your stop loss and take profit over anything. That's most important. All right, look. So number two, guys, let's go ahead and get into it. Number two, have a budget risk management so just like any business guys any business has a company budget that they have per year and they have to meet quotas and they have to meet um, certain percentile in improvements in order to make sure that their revenue is increasing same thing for your risk management guys you know if you have a thousand dollar account you shouldn't be using eight hundred dollars of that thousand dollar account use two hundred dollars or use a hundred dollars me personally i like to only use ten percent of my account per trade so 10% of my account per trade. So 10% of my account per trade is what I like to maximize uh, myself to. Because if I'm trading with anything over that and I end up taking a loss, it's going to hurt me emotionally. But the way I play with my risk reward setup, guys, and I play with a 1 to 4 risk reward ratio minimum, even if I lose one trade, the next time I win, I'm going to make up four trades off of just one win. So when you guys have risk management in place, it makes it extremely, extremely, extremely easy to succeed in trading because when you do lose, it's not going to hurt you as emotionally. And when you do lose, you're not going to destroy your entire real life finances. There's plenty of people in real life who mortgage their house, who end up taking out loans, who end up blowing all of their savings that they have saved up over and over again into the market every day because they don't have a risk management plan. Don't be that. Don't be that person. Be significantly better than that and make sure you position yourself in a way to win because it's very easy to blow all of your money in trading when you're not treating it like a business and when you're not taking it step by step number three take profits and pay yourself this is one thing once again I see people do um, or fail to do a lot of people especially my Bitcoin traders and stuff like that especially my crypto guys it's I notice it's a, a big thing in the crypto space um, I notice my futures and options traders um, they're a little bit more technically inclined um, but I notice crypto traders just like to kind of bag hold um, so a lot of people could be up a very nice amount of money within crypto and they don't close because they don't know what they're looking at so once again guys if you're going to take profits and pay yourself 
you need to understand how your trading plan works out you need to know okay if i enter here i'm gonna go ahead and trim or take some profit here and drag my stop loss up because if you don't do that you're gonna get caught in that early trading noob trap where you think it's just gonna continue to go up forever and you think your money is just gonna continue to go in a vertical positive green direction forever and that's absolutely unrealistic and that's not something that's going to be feasible you need to understand that if you're not taking profits and paying yourself how are you gonna get anywhere money realized and money unrealized in an account you could have 20 million dollars sitting in a trading account and until any one of those dollars is transferred into your bank account it almost doesn't exist because you can very easily make an impulsive decision full port a good chunk of that and lose it like many people have done like many people who've won on meme stocks such as gme amc or who made a lot of money on any meme coins or stuff like that they don't have any discipline or structure or any business structure built in on them so due to that it just absolutely hinders them completely and it's just abysmal so make sure you guys are taking profits and pay yourself also don't forget you guys have to pay taxes too a lot of people think they're just gonna get into trading and they don't end up stashing bread away and stuff like that you always remember you guys have to pay taxes on this take profits put it away in a completely separate bank account and then slash it in half so whatever profit you guys get take 50% I would put it in a completely separate bank account and then take the other 50% and put it in your main bank account this way you guys will have money to pay for taxes and this way you guys will also have some a little overhead room left over uh, pretty sure taxes in most states is around almost 40% if you live in the United States but um, if you guys are saving away 50% you'll have around 10% overhead left over and then from there you'll have some nice breathing room which is extremely extremely nice so you know you might just have some extra bands sitting around depending on how good of a year month or week you guys do so um, make sure you guys uh, pay yourself like a job as well obviously this is not a job but you need to treat it like a business <clears throat> be like okay I'm gonna withdraw every Friday or if some of you want your money to hit on Friday be like okay I'm gonna withdraw on Thursdays or after I take a trade, I'm going to withdraw most of this profit, put this percentage back into my account, and then start over again. So make sure you guys have a systematic way that you want to be taking your profits and paying yourself. Because you're going to do nothing but save yourself tons of time and energy within the future. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Alright, number four. You want to take it day by day, man. I see too many people trying to rush it in trading. It's too many people trying to full port their account, trying to get rich in a single day. And honestly, there couldn't be something more unrealistic. You know, it can't happen, you know, on certain things like GME pumps, AMC pumps, and certain things like that. But you need to understand that if you don't know how to keep up your repetition and you don't know how to keep up your discipline and trading, it can very easily all be gone. I don't care how good of a year you did. Even if you just did a million dollar year, the next year, you could easily just have a significantly worse year if you don't stick to your trading plan. This has happened multiple times um, and you're not staying patient as well. This has happened multiple times to people during um, big seasonal pumps. Um, I believe during the COVID time, when market was dumping very aggressively and heavily, a lot of people were making tons of money just playing the puts. But then when market ended up structuring out and quitting weekly and monthly lows, a lot of people didn't know how to read that and ended up getting bounced on. What they thought was they could just keep playing puts and keep farming the market direction, but they don't know that market is eventually going to bounce regardless if it's going straight up or straight down. There's going to be key areas of support and supply and demand, and there's going to be key areas where price is most likely going to stop at based off of old previous price reactions. So make sure you guys are taking it day by day. You need to understand that you're not going to get rich in trading from a single day. And rich is not just finance. Even if you just hit a big trade, a big million dollar trade in a day or a big meme coin push, you need to understand, okay, let me stay disciplined here. Because if you guys are truly trying to chase a billion dollars and you're trying to chase true financial freedom for your family, you need to understand that no matter how much money you make off of the charts, you need to stay disciplined and stay zen at all times. Whether you make a million dollars off a trade or you make a thousand dollars off a trade, it doesn't matter. All right, next thing, perform periodic reviews on your P&L and your win percentage. Now, you guys need to treat this kind of like a job quarterly review. If you guys have ever gotten your um, stats and stuff like that for your job to see how you're doing or like a report card for school. Make sure you guys are checking out your win percentage and stuff like that. Check out your P&L and see, how, see if you guys are over trading and stuff like that. Um, I recommend journaling either you guys yourself or you guys can get a trade journal like TradeZello or something like that. So you can see how well you're doing and be like, okay, on this day I over traded significantly. But on this day I only took one trade and I hit a one to five. 
So let me go ahead and stick to what I did here and play the setups in which I did over here instead of over trading and crashing out on this day. Make sure you guys are definitely performing periodic reviews on yourself as it's going to help you significantly. Make sure you guys join my Discord below for signals. Signals are currently going for $9.99 at the time of this recording. So for $10, guys, you can get all access to my signals for futures, options, and crypto. You guys can also join me for a one on one mentorship. Link in the description below as well. Also, you can um, get with me for um, my courses as well. I'm going to be dropping that, working on tons of courses and stuff like that. So, yeah, follow all my socials, guys. Absolutely going to be grinding. Super excited to get this content out for you guys. And Stack Mo Chris, peace. I'm giving a one day free trial in my Stack Mo Trading Discord for my exclusive signals. Here, I'm going to be giving entry and exit alerts, levels, and trade breakdowns for futures, options, as well as crypto traders. You guys can also purchase lifetime access to the signals where you guys can pay once and have access to the signals forever. Here, you guys will also find a link for my one-on-one -on -one mentorship sign up and let's discuss how to get the best entries and let's chat about strategy, risk management, psychology, and figure out what's holding you back. I want to help you guys get profitable and payments will be flexible. I'm working with all budgets for my mentorship. If you guys want to help get profitable, make sure you guys join my Discord and inshallah, let's make some money on.